Hi guys, good morning. So today I want uh, to share with you how did I get my driver's license here in UA for just a one month. So I started to I start inquire since last year and then I just get the opportunity this time when the kids starting to go to school so that's when I tried to go to the driving the driving company or the Emirates driving school to inquire and then at the same time that same day that when I did my inquiry I did all the the steps so the first thing I did is I did my eye test and after that I went to the other building which is going to it's like a typing center where you open your file and then you book your theory exam and the theory class. So here in Abu Dhabi, is you have to do all the class in the driving school, in the practical driving inside the school. So you have to do all of that. And since I am driving in the Philippines, I have my driver's license and it's still valid. And so lucky because I brought it here and I went there and they told they asked me if I have the driving license in the Philippines and if it's still valid they can maybe I will able to get a chance to get a golden chance which is I have to if I get approved I will able to escape the part that I will be enrolled inside the driving school for a practical driving. Practical driving is more about the starting from the beginning how to drive so how to drive how you turn on the car how you turn your steering wheel indicators all of that escape that part because i already have the driver's license if you have your driver's license you have to in your country just show it to them and then they i think they will they call it like translation and then if you get approved you get a message and then after that you will open your file so when I did that in a typing center, I went there, I showed to them, and then they, they, they asked my Emirates ID, my driver's license in the Philippines, and a, like, a photo. So lucky I have one, I have brought some of the photo, like I think I have two by two in my wallet, so I just give that to them and it was, it was all good. And then um, also they asked your visa and since that day i was just went there to inquire i was not really prepared but luckily i have all like soft co copy and all that so it's it's okay so i it's it's since it's saved in my phone so i just sent it to them and they have my copy for my visa and then after that i have to wait for 30 minutes to get that message that i approve the golden chance so yeah after 30 minutes of waiting i get the message and i have to inform the typing center that i got proof so they can open my file if you have your mobile police app for abu dhabi you can do it yourself but since if i can mistake i don't know so i just do it there in their typing center so i just Send them the message that I got proof and then they open my file. So after opening your file, you can go to the counter in the Emirates Driving School to book your theory class and your theory exam. So we have to do it one at a time because there's a lot of people there. It's going to be like a long wait. So lucky me, I just waited for like, I think just two hours, something like that. So after you book your theory class and your theory exam, they will give they will give you a handbook. So they give you this one. You have to read all of these books inside. So I was I think I was only given like one week. So I filed there about September 2 and then I got my exam for September 11 so 
So it's just, I think it just took some like a week. So I just read the books for just a week and I suggest and for you to read all. So yeah, I got this one, Image Driving Company. It's like the papers that you paid and all that. So the first, yeah, I get, I get the schedule about September 7, 9, see some golden chance. It's like two hours theory class and then another about, I think it's just only about two hours again for a golden chance simulator. So it is like a computer game. So I was so... I got so dizzy and it was it was crazy but I did like 45 minutes only and that makes me like throw off I have to run to the bathroom after driving for like 25 minutes in that computer exam have so I started my fury September 7 and then September 9 and then the exam was September 11 yeah I mentioned that September 11 that was my first exam and I failed because I only got 34 out of 45 so the items of the exam of the fury exam is 45 items and you will only pass if you get 36 and above so if you get 35 below so you fail so I got 34 and I fail then I have to re I have to rebook my fury class again and a fury exam so they have to do a fury class you just can't be there and rebook your exam again and take the exam you have to do the class and you have to be present for the class or else you can't get you cannot uh, take the exam you have to be there in your fury class before you can take your exam so i have to rebook my fury class and I'll get scheduled again for September 16. So I did that in just one day. I have two hours theory class and then after two hours, I was only given like 15 minutes break and then I have to take the exam again. And luckily, I got, I passed the exam. I got 37. Um, check out of 45 items after i passed the exam on september 16 i went to the the typing center again and then i have to book my road test so since i am a golden chance i have the privilege to just to take the practical driving practice outside so I have to book my road test and I got my permit so first they gave me a paper then after a few days the the, the what do you call that the, the ID or your driving permit card will be delivered in your house so I just have this and my exam was, was scheduled in October 4 yeah so yeah i did that so i have only given like 18 days to do practice since i already know how to drive all i need to do is about the trick how to do emergency stop where to do the emergency stop how to um what to do first when you get inside the car and what are you going to do when there is a um, situation in, in by the road and how you're gonna react and then my concern was also about the uh, roundabout roundabout there's a lot of roundabout here and it's very very for me it's what's it's scary because especially that we live in the in a place where we are near around construction area industrial so it's very very busy there's a lot of cars there's a lot of then, trucks um, so that was my first concern so i wanted to to practice and then um i wanted to do more uh practice in a roundabout so i did a lot of that so i do like two hours every day halos every day yung yung practice school 
and I request to my driving instructor to do like two hours a day if since she is so very busy so I'm just so lucky that she gave me some of the day to do a practice I think I was able to finish for like 18 hours driving and yeah and then she teach me some of the tricks how to do the exam and all that so the road test will only take about less than a minute less than a minute and mostly is like just they just test you how you drive and how you get inside a car and the safety driving safety is one of the, the priority here so yeah so I did my practical driving outside 18 hours and then after that they will give you a certificate that you did the the practical training outside so everything is Compute, uh, computerized so everything is just gonna be in their system so we did that and before our exam we have to do PCR test because you know we're in pandemic right now and they want at least 72 hours valid so I did that and yeah I read all my books that's all I did to pass the few exam and I take down notes, all of that. That's all my notes. I take down all of it from chapter one to the last chapter. So yeah, that's all. I did that and I will flash here with you how much the... So thank you for watching guys. I hope you had get some idea. If you need to ask something, just comment below in the comments back section. And if you need some clarification, you can comment down below and ask me more and I just since this is just a refresh for me and so I'm just so lucky and happy to to share it with you and especially to all the Kabayans who wants to get a driver's license so yeah thank you for watching and have a great day yeah.